To activate the boom coupler system on a Caterpillar Next Gen Ultra High Excavator, there's quite a few steps that have to be done in a certain order to make sure that the operator doesn't accidentally unlock the boom pins while in the air. The first step is to remove the safety caps on the boom. The safety caps are there just in case the operator would accidentally go through this next procedure with the front in the air. So once the safety caps are removed, the next step is to go in and activate the boom coupler. So we're going to go into our main application menu, go into settings, find machine settings. We're going to scroll down until we find UHD setting. So on this screen, this tells us what front is currently installed and active on the machine. In this case, it's our retrofit or digging boom in the straight position. We need to change this to boom coupler only to activate the boom coupler and hit apply. So now that the boom coupler is active, we can come back to the right hand control panel and find the boom coupler switch. The first thing we're going to do is put the hydraulic lockout lever into the unlock position and hit this button once. As I hit this button, the green light does not come on. Back on the main screen, a warning pops up asking, is it okay to unlock the boom coupler? We hit the unlock button, and now we come back to the boom coupler switch, and you notice the green light is now on. So once I hit this, the boom pins will unlock. So now that the boom coupler is unlocked, the boom is ready to be changed out. If we need to lock the pins back in, the green light is still active. We can just hit this button once, and it's gonna send the pins back out into the lock position. So once the boom pins are locked, we need to tell the machine what front we have installed. So now we're gonna go back into the UHD settings, verify that the boom coupler is locked, and it's important to get out of the cab and verify that both pins are out on both sides of the front. So we hit lock to verify the pins are locked, and now we can change the boom configuration to the current front that we have. So in this case, it's the retrofit straight front. Hit apply. And now that setting is saved, we can shut the machine off and we need to do about a two to three minute power cycle with the master off for these settings to take effect.